Hello everyone, uh, my name is Huang and uh, today I will show you a series of uh, Docker tutorials and uh, in this lesson I will introduce you about how to install uh, Docker in uh, Windows or Mac OS Docker is an open platform for debugging, shipping and running applications by creating container by pulling image from Docker Hub and run container inside your application, inside your PC, inside your host. Then you can publish your application to another operating system and uh, the application would run uh, on various type of environments. So uh, the documentation of Docker is uh, quite uh, complicated, but I will show you to do to install to write some example uh, to understanding how to use Docker in uh, various type of environment, uh, a various type of application Java, uh, Node.js, MySQL, etc. Firstly, we need to uh, download Docker by pressing here. Uh, for Mac OS, you can download the chip. Uh, Apple chip or Intel chip, okay. If you have a MacBook M1, you can download the Mac with Apple chip. And then, uh, with my computer, I can use the Mac with Intel chip. Yes. So uh, here, when you install, um, you can download the app file and drag and drop to your application in Mac OS and then it will display on uh, the launch pad and you can run by starting here okay it's a docker uh, after installing we uh, have the docker and you can search and press uh, with windows you can press to download the uh, download desktop for windows and save to your download and then press to the Execute uh, executive file and then uh, search for Windows Store. You must install the Ubuntu. Yes, the Ubuntu application allow you to create a new uh, a Linux a Linux core inside your window application, uh, window or uh, 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 operating system, and then. Uh, you can also download and press to here. Okay, uh, this is a Linux environment or the Linux core inside your application. So you can install by updating your know, package by typing advanced package to get update to download every package and uh, update every package in your uh, upgrade every package inside your Linux core by typing install minus y mean yes uh, for example you can install some package like midnight commander and run this okay it is not not necessary for for, for Docker here, MC is not necessary for Docker, but it is all uh, only an example of how to install, update and install package inside the Linux. So we can also press here and see some of the requirement. Uh, you can download uh, more uh, W S to enter. Oh, this is a Docker desktop installation. So uh, it downloads the first time you typing it, and uh, this will download a uh, uh, every package first time. Then you open the PowerShell. Yeah, window PowerShell run as administrator. Uh, okay. Uh, let's wait a few seconds or one or two minutes uh, to finish uh, installing Docker Desktop. This is the latest version at this time. 
and then you can see the image volume the development environment on some of my existing image but it, it is not important for you uh, this is my account in docker hub you can also install by registering a new account or using an existing account to log in to docker hub and uh, by testing you type docker ps to display every running container and docker ps minus a to display every container running or stopping every container that's a with every or all yes and you copy this line uh, this, this uh, line will start a new container and the container is derived from the getting started image the docker uh, command line will download this and install the container like a virtual machine but it has a very small amount of uh, this amount of memory it is very small it contains a, a little bit amount of uh, megabyte inside your PC or your host okay so this is basic infrastructure in, uh, of the container application or uh, every application will be added by Linux core and the Linux command line inside the container and the container has a very small size uh, minus D mean detach mode, detach mode mean background uh, this container will run in background uh, the port here is uh, the, 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 the port in your container and the port in your host your host means your PC or your laptop is your host yeah. yes it is uh, quite overview and quite a simple overview and I will uh, concentrate on detail in every next video so back to Mac OS you can test by typing docker ps minus that's a that's a mean every container running or stopping container yes docker ps to display only running container so you copy this and paste to terminal Mac OS uh, and type enter that's mean background task um, that's p mean port or publish it will uh, expose the port 80 uh, of the container to the 80 port of your host docker slash get started is the image name the image is stored in uh, Docker Hub. You can change the port in up uh, your PC to eighty two or uh, etc. You can use uh, a port which unused before. Uh, this command will uh, pull pull the image from the Docker Hub. Uh, the image will be stored inside your PC and then starting the the container. Every idea here is a layer, and you can search for a specific container by typing Docker scan. Docker scan means Docker search. Search for uh, image which contain the getting. Yeah. You must log into your Docker Hub. Uh, to register a new username inside Docker is quite simple. You can only access to Docker Hub, register a new uh, new account, type your email, type your username, and type your password. Oh, is this okay? Now open Docker Hub. Yes. 
this is my account sunlight 4d you can log out and sign up your own account and type your uh, user id or docker id type your email type your password and accept the, the, uh, the agreement okay and then you can log in using your docker id type your docker id and password this is quite simple this is uh, my image my own image I will, uh, I will guide you how to create your own image it's quite simple to create a new image for your own uh, you can search every uh, con con image here by typing the image name for example you can search for MySQL so called SQL Server uh, and here you can see very type of tags tags mean version version is tag uh, the reference here the docker file is the file to create uh, the image the image is created from the docker file and the code is here some of the code of uh, Z, for, for the image in here you can also use it but I will guide you how to write your code and how to use your code inside your container how to publish your own image to docker hub so hope to see you in next video